Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The Los Angeles Rams are Super Bowl champions. The young, impressive Bengals team comes up just short in their miraculous Super Bowl run and deserve all the respect in the world. But at the end of the day, it was the Rams star players who made the difference. Cooper Cup caught the game when he touched down with just under 90 seconds left in the game and put the Rams ahead by a field goal. And on the Bengals' last chance drive to win or tie the game, Aaron Donald got the tackle on third and one to force a fourth down and then followed it up with a game-winning sack on Joe Burrow just like he did to the 49ers a few weeks ago. Although they were both technically not sacks, he was the one who made the play. The Super Bowl MVP trophy could have gone to either one of them, but in the end it was Cooper Cup who got the trophy, and I can't disagree with the choice. Cup carried this team's offense all season and showed up when it mattered most. And this was after Oda Beckham Jr. went down with a knee injury after he started off the game pretty strong. The game itself was frustrating to watch from a Rams perspective. It felt like they were trying to lose the game by running the ball over and over again against the Bengals defense who held strong throughout the game. The Bengals defensive line held the Rams to less than 2 yards per carry, but the Rams would not commit to throwing the ball and it almost cost them the game. Ironically though, the biggest fourth down of the game was converted on a run by Cooper Cup of all players, but that doesn't change the fact that the Rams almost lost the Super Bowl because they were constantly handicapping themselves with their own run game. This isn't a shit on Akers or Michelle either, this is respect to the Bengals run defense and a Cup who is taken out of the game when you run the ball more than you should be doing. For the Bengals, today wasn't a big surprise after what we saw in the Titans game, but their offensive line got dominated by the Rams defensive line. They gave up 7 sacks and almost got Joe Burrow knocked out of the game when he injured his knee on one of those plays. The Bengals have a very clear objective in the offseason on where to upgrade their team. But they should have all kinds of faith in their young developing wide receivers. There is still a very bright future to be had in Cincinnati. Now I want to take a quick second to talk about the penalties. This really came down to two key moments of the game. Higgins 75 yard touchdown to open the second half which was clearly offensive pass interference which was not called. And in the ref's defense, it didn't look like an easy call from the angle that he had, but Karma caught up at the end of the game when there was about half a dozen penalties which helped the Rams take back the lead. So as far as I'm concerned, this was a wash. I don't want to hear the refs hand the game to the Rams. It was a great game though. It came down to the final seconds and it was a star talent of the Rams that made the difference once given the chance. Congrats to the Rams. Please learn when to stop running the ball. Bengals fans, keep your heads up. There's a lot to look forward to in the future. And a very special shout out to Jared Goff for getting Stafford out of Detroit. The city of LA appreciates your sacrifice. Get out of there before it's too late. Burrow trying to keep it going. Gets spun down, gets it away, and incomplete. It looked like P. Ryan might have had a shot to make the grab, but the Rams now running down to celebrate with a defensive play. And guess who? Guess of course. Who? I mean, you only have to think about it.